As a photographer, I've spent my life having incredible adventures. For this shoot in Venezuela, I fulfilled a childhood ambition and travelled in the footsteps of the American aviator and adventurer Jimmy Angel, a bush pilot from the Gold Rush era and the first Westerner to discover Angel Falls. His story has become one of legend. He first flew over the falls in 1933 whilst looking for gold. Then, on a return journey with his wife and companions in 1937, actually managed to land on a flat top mountain known as a tepee. Unfortunately, his plane crash landed and he was unable to take off again. This led to an 11 day trek to the nearest village. With little food or water, it's a life or death situation. My assignment is to photograph and film the undiscovered world that Jimmy would have seen. After several plane journeys and boat rides, a 4 a.m. start, a trek through the jungle, I actually see Angel Falls. The shoot can become quite obsessive, getting the right shot. Preparation is 70% of the task. Before we leave, we map out exactly what we're looking to achieve. We speak to local guides to learn about the terrain and weather patterns. Every piece of clothing and camera equipment is checked and double checked before it's packed. I'll take double, if not treble, of all the essential pieces of kit. Never presume you'll be okay. Here we are, in a Venezuelan bush dance. Oh, these fucking flies. As we set off the next morning by helicopter, hoping for clear weather, our plan is to remove the door and film and photograph Mount Arama, one of the most staggering sights you'll ever come across. My research has shown that this must be a morning shot when the light will be just right. We have only one chance. I polarise the sky to make the colours more intense. The pilot manages to keep the helicopter completely still and I get the shot we need. Very few people have the opportunity to go to the top of one of these tepees. My plan is to film and photograph the summit. As we're dropped off, we have 24 hours to photograph and film this amazing sight. Our pilot warns us if the weather's bad, he won't be able to collect us tomorrow. There are few places on earth quite as diverse, even fewer such an epic scale. You can truly get lost in a place like this. The summit of Mount Moraima surely is the weirdest, most surreal place I've ever been. Am I hungry? No, we survived. We have some sweets. Being a photographer is a very rewarding profession and I've been fortunate enough over the years to see some truly amazing places, but nothing can prepare you for this. In the 1930s, it was rare for anyone in America to travel beyond their own state. I can only imagine what Jimmy Angel must have felt, and it hasn't changed since his day. There are very few places where you can feel that time has stood still. This really is a lost world. <laughs>